my mission, quite frankly, is to do all I can to reintroduce or bring the humanness of learning back into the learning equation. It's about being human with one another. We are so mechanical, this whole system has gone to so much of a process that is do this, get that, do this, get that, it's what I learned more about Doug. Did you know Doug is in the band? And he yodels. <laughs> See? And it's just so cool because we can play with that as a new relationship component <laughs> as we grow forward as friends and colleagues and associates. And how many things do you not know about your kids? It's oh, amazing. Wow. Until you get them into this kind of project stuff, all of a sudden they start talking, and you're going, I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> Whoa. You know? And that's what then gives you the, the material that when the kid is stuck, you can go to that point, perhaps. Maybe talking about yodeling. <laughs> Seriously. We were talking about that. Like, what about the physics of yodeling? And how come women, or can women, yodel the same as men? I don't know. I don't know. I don't care. But, you know, <laughs> there was a comment or question over there. Yes. Yodel? I think that's admirable that, you know, that you can relate that with the other side of the coin for a second. But, you did this at all. You gained that information in a situation that is not the norm last night. You were sitting and having a conversation. Now you take a teacher who walks into a building. Are you guys on the bar or what? The politics of that yeah. building and that he has 150 dogs coming through, okay, the day. And to build that one-on-one -on -one connection where you could store your memory and retrieve one true comment about 150 kids so that in case that child needs that moment to have that connection or is is a difficult thing to do because it's like um like when i'm at the university i'm teaching my teachers to be teachers i say the first few days you spend all these warm things doing warm and fuzzy i mean how many has that you know you build the crest or you do the who am i or you stand up i do i pack a baggage thing yada 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 and then all of a sudden you forget all those things that you learned about your kids and you get into the teacher mode. Well, for the most, teachers do. They get into that teacher mode. You got the politics, the budget, the complaining, the halls, everything. So my thought is, how do you, how, my question was, how do you grasp something and hold that through 180 days, just in case you need it, about 150 kids? You mind if I just jump? Figure it. I think that again gets at the heart of high school enterprise because when we're talking about teams of 15, you know, 20, you know, maybe fewer students, you're at you're 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 not at the bar with your kids, but <laughs> well, you're not in the, but you're not in the classroom. You're right. in a different setting, and hopefully. They're talking to each other. You're listening. You're talking. So I, I agree. When you got a hundred, when you're going through the exactly without the humanness, you can't. It's right. very unlikely. Well, high school Maybe. enterprise allows you that that connection, but it's a very small connection. Okay. So some of this we can keep in high school enterprise, but some of this is very hard to move out into the for, every, the, for the everybody. That's the thing I'm saying is that the, mm -hmm. I, I think at Luke high school enterprise is a gift, and I think my kids do because they have connected with kids that they never would have picked. You know, right. they never became, and they've said that. You know what? I never would have been Alex's friend. I, I would have not chatted with him. But you know what? Now he's my he's my fellow diplomat, and now we're all connected. So that that's a great growth. But to take that and to move it into a whole classroom. Well, you know, maybe we're doing it wrong. I, I would I would I would balance I would balance the perspective that you brought forward from a tactical maneuver, which is I'm going to attempt to gain some data point on every kid so that I might use it, put it in my toolbox and use it later down the road. That's tactics. To I would use it as my intent is to learn as much about my children as possible. In the event that you know, if you go in looking for some specific point to say, oh, got that point, that's a vertical maneuver. I would go into it as, I'm just going to learn about my kids. I'm going to let my brain figure out whether it's relevant information, whether it's worth storing, or whether I ever need to recall it. I'm going to let my physiology and neurobiology take care of all that for me. I'm not going to go in with any kind of a specific goal or objective to gather a data point for kids. I'm just going to go be with them. And what gets stored gets stored. What I remember, I remember. 
But what's cool is, is, is that when you are in a space, and I don't, let's say I don't remember anything about my interaction with Doug, but I do remember my interactions with you, and you and I bring that up in a public setting in a positive way, that impresses the hell out of Juan. He goes, wow, he remembered that about me. That's pretty cool. I wonder what he remembers about me. And now he wants to, you know, and so what you're doing is you're enhancing okay. the human connection. And, and that is what, so it's not a matter of being precisely uh, covering everybody and making sure I've got everyone taken care of. That's where I look at it as what it becomes generative. See, it is my underlying goal of my group, my 12 kids, I mean, I call them my chief about a dozen, so I a So that they will take the interpersonal skills that they are gaining from HSE, mm -hmm. that they will brought together, they learn about things, and they did all this, and they will move that out into yeah. their general population. And say, so, you know what, I should, I should branch out a little bit. And that's not always trackable. Eyes. From an assessment side, that's not always something that has a clear right. start and end. You know, it did or it didn't. It doesn't become a verbal point. It becomes something you may not learn about. True true story, I was, uh, my wife and I came up uh, to our place in, near Traverse City. We have a place in Calcastage. We were up in the fall, and we come up on a Friday night, and you need to know that in Traverse City, uh -huh. television, news, nighttime in the fall, the world could be crumbling. You would get a minute and a half of that, and all the rest would be high school football. Uh -huh. okay. <laughs> Am I right? It's all high school football. And they have an ability to get every little minor high school football game, they got a clip. Somebody with a little camcorder, but they've got eight seconds of it, and whatever. So it was fall. Okay. And they were, this was on just public standard to Traverse City television news. You bet. So they're running around with the microphones and they're seeing all the coaches, right? It's like August or early September. Hey, coach, how's your team going to be this year? Well, they're going to be yeah, just wonderful. We got a new quarterback and I think his arm's going to be. Hey, coach, how's your team going to be? Oh, well, our running game has really improved and I think we're going to be. Hey, coach, when well, they get to this guy, who's probably 65 years old. Hey coach, how's your team gonna be this year? He says, you know, I really won't know for a good 15 or 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> he said, because what we do on the field this year really won't pay out until we find out when these young people turn into adults, how well they've done. And I went, he gets it. You know, we're in an instant gratification society. We wanna know about it today. From a metrics side, we keep trying to measure our effectiveness by the end of the day or the end of the school year. Did we get it done? If we're really doing our job right, we won't know, most likely, definitively, for many years to come. And you all are experienced enough in this room to know that's the truth. Because you get a story that comes around the back door and, and the kid comes up to you and goes, I want to share with you, when I was in your class and we did this, that changed my life, right? The quotes that you're looking for and the impact of a comment made, how powerful that could be. Can you explain to me in layman's terms no. <laughs> what she said, <laughs> what her concern is? The concern, oh, her, her thinking is if we were to try and capture, if, if I had 150 kids that I'm responsible for this semester in my class, right. to successfully go out and learn something like Doug Gilders, from 150 kids and have that in my back pocket ready to be used in the future should I need it with Earl. Right. That that's an awfully difficult thing to go out and try and achieve. And I would agree with that. 